Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a brand new spread in my mini recollections planner. Now, if you haven't noticed, I haven't done any spreads in this planner in about a month. And the reason for that is because I really wanted to start um, where I left off with using the week I was in China with pictures I took and use that as a spread for the week. So I'm gonna be doing that there, there. And then after that, I'm just gonna use different printables that I'll be making or just using whatever I have at home to make my other spreads to catch myself up to where we are now. Now, just so you know, with, when it comes to this planner, it's really mostly used for planning my videos and spreads. So technically there's nothing happening the whole month that I'm gone because I didn't do any filming, any planning of anything uh, when I got back because there was so much going on. So decided to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate those pages, making sure there's no white pages for those weeks I'm missing and then get caught up to where we are now. So for now, I'm gonna just do the week I'm in China and here is a printable that I made. Now these are just images that I took at my trip. These are just a few things I did of my stay in China. So I'm looking forward to putting this one together. So continue watching to see how I uh, put this spread in my planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by placing a washi tip at the top of my page. Now this washi tip I actually got in Taiwan while I was out there and I thought it was perfect to use um, since um, my trip was out in you know China I did you know I was in Shanghai, Hong Kong, uh, Macau and Taipei, Taiwan. So I thought this washi tip was great. I think I picked up like maybe three washi tapes out there. So I was looking forward to at least using one right now. And of course, uh, I'll use it for something else later on as well. But so here I am placing that. And then for the other washi tip to use like around the boxes, I'm going to go ahead and use a red one. Um, I feel like the red will help um, these images that I chose to place into the boxes um, pop out more since um, when you look at it from the page, it, they just don't look so bright. They don't look so good. And so I felt maybe this might help those images come out more and be able to see what they really are about. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for both pages until I get ready to place my pictures. So I decided to zoom in a bit here so you guys can see the actual images to each of the stickers. Now, as you can tell, I always like to do um, the top layer upside down just because it's so much easier to place the stickers. And also it's easy for me to make sure they're even at the top. And then I go and flip it back over and place my bottom pictures easily as well. Now, each of these images represents uh, a particular thing that happened that day. Now, a lot happened each day. We were out all day long, so we saw so much stuff. So I decided to pick one um, image that stood out for me that particular day. So um, each image represents a day as well as a place. So like I think the first few days were Taipei, the next few were Macau and then we had Hong Kong and once I'm done with this I'll be done with my spread
So here's the final look to put together the spread. I love the way it came out. I think the choice of washi was great. I think it helped pop out those pictures better because before I felt like you really couldn't see those images but when I look at it I can see it clearly I think that red helps a lot and also it's so great to see um, each day with an image that reminds me exactly of what I did that day it's like a nice little diary sort of but I love it and I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time